What's up, my name is Johnny, and welcome to, or welcome back, rather, uh, GTA 5, episode number 13. What was that screech noise? Did you guys hear that? Uh, anyway, we gotta go to the B. And thankfully, I landed on my parachute last episode, if you guys didn't watch that. Make sure you guys are keeping up with the story. Um, I landed a parachute right next to it, so... We are definitely going to go see what's happening. Um, I need to go upstairs, maybe. Is that what I gotta do? Hello? Anyone here? Um, maybe I can go through this door to the right up here, maybe. Here we go. Oh, Are you serious? Nice place you got here. Oh yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need <clears throat> any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? They're about up? to get into it, huh? Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh... uh uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. <clears throat> a few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Jeez. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, How ladies, are we supposed to get that money? keep us way out of this thing. Bye, bye. How are we supposed to get all that money to do this? Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ! All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you <clears> tell <throat> him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. All right, never Michael, huh? Okay, so we gotta go try to call Lesser. <sighs> what a day. What a day. You coming? Come on, Trev. Alright, we gotta go to Polito Bay. 3.7 miles? My gosh. Let me call Lester. Call him. Who the big man's got? What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. <clears throat> All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. 
was AC Bank. You gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? <laughs> yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend. Industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. <clears throat> but then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. <laughs> what about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. Girlfriend's no, no, no. bantering. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a style. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the <clears> niche <throat> drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. <laughs> I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> Hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Well, it'll be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does Jesus. it take us to get out here from L.S.? I just like listening to them talk, man. It's like really interesting. It's some good conversations. The writing in this game is so good. I mean, it's Come like on, look man, at this. It off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers. You don't knock that shit off. Well, please. <laughs> all right, you alleviate the boredom. <laughs> oh God, man. Finally. Frickin' Trevor, bro. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. My car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Michael will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's <laughs> take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> okay. That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and go towards the back here. <clears throat> There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This Oops. Am I do. stupid? Let's check out the alarm to be sure. That was the place I had to be? Right here? Pull into the vacant lot with the garbage container in it. Hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. <clears throat> no, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. All right, I'm shooting the, uh... Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. 
50 seconds. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. <clears throat> what do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Here they come. Here they come. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. <coughs> Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're going to set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still whoa, whoa, whoa. your ass. Well, I'm not going to outrun a cop. We've got to go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. What? Okay, so where am I going? Race Michael to Trevor's office. Okay. Up. There's a problem with this motorcycle. If we hit anything, we will definitely be thrown off. So we gotta be very uh, focused mode here. If I don't speak, it's because I'm focused. I might be able to run through these uh, these trees here, but I think we'll go the way we need to go just to be safe. <clears throat> we're still ahead of them, so we're doing good. I'm gonna go this way. He's, in, he's ahead of us now. We should be able to catch up to him here soon. He's still got like three, almost two and a half miles left, so... He's right there, I, I can see, you can see him. I'll pass him in just a second. Should've stuck to the road. Be out here though. We're here. Got uh how they get here? Didn't go as planned. What took you so long? <laughs> I ramped off that thing and I hit where I was supposed to, but then I hit it again and it went off the into the water and I just didn't do well. That's alright. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Is he really gonna eat that? Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. <clears throat> bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer That's than I disgusting. have to. That's disgusting. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. 
I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay, so you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. Okay. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. Weapon choice, accuracy. He's actually really, he's, he's actually the best and he takes way less. Yeah, accuracy is way better than this guy's, and way better than that guy's. I think we're gonna go with, uh, Chef. Is that it? You sure? Uh, sure. Can't do anything else, so. That should do. Let's go. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but, you know, me casa su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos! Hmm? I mean, yeah, that was... That should have been given. That nasty. <clears throat> Alright, we got that score set up. And now we just gotta... Franklin, get Franklin buddy, here. What's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Okay. Yeah, freaking car. Where's my car? Not there. Is there really a car around here? I'm gonna keep saying this, man. This is a fucking issue that they need to fix. Like, I hate having to just run around and try to get a car after we try to get a mission going. Like, it just, it just sucks. Now I gotta take this dude's car. Hey, bud. Yeah, I'm gonna take this, so. Sorry about you. Yeah, well. You are. Well, I'm not even close to you, so. Alright, we gotta go to... Alright, we're gonna go to Trevor's. Alright. Even our car's here, too, so that's a good idea. Well, I actually just about hit it. I like this little dune buggy though, I think it's cool. Right, let's do this. Go ahead and walk into our little house. Hello? Let's see what Franklin's got. Hey Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, uh, <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty. I like how she cleaned the entire part of him. There are trailer for him. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Place actually oh, looks shit, I'm good. Sorry, I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck you. Uh, where did you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life? and you feel guilty about it, doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's <clears> gotten <throat> you real far. Oh yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, 
Your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? And I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. <laughs> uh... Say, say, oh, yeah. I spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low. Out here, by calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. Hope you're happy. All right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. I love this game. <laughs> God damn it. I wonder if they'll do like a like continuation. So what is Frank uh, doing from GTA for you anyway? 5. He's some guys, Mikey. But I think at the end you could you can choose who to kill, and I think that might throw everything off, so maybe not. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about him? God damn it! Damn! These redneck fools know we own them now. Chase That's the right, O'Neill brothers. We're gonna fuck them up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey Oops. man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of two miles. Alright, alright, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo. But one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company <coughs> chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, oh my dog, god. Can you like get on it? Because these dudes is rolling home. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Alright, so we just gotta chase him. And then uh, eventually we'll hit we'll we'll meet up with Trevor and Michael. So we just gotta continue. Okay. Shit on me. Shit on me. Back, homie. Find him. Go to the car. Oh shit. Okay. Well, they rolled. They went that way. Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed. They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Alright, here we go. We're switching on over. Don't worry. Incoming. Go to the airfield. Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this what is stop kind like of that? important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and grab... This helicopter. I think a helicopters Ms. are Ellie. so much Remember, easier to land too. Mine. She's the company's. Let's say. Trevor Enterprises. Look. Why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal. The contract to end all contracts. Serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. Oh, oh, hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow! What's with all the questions? Can you just 
killed some people. There's one down. Any of them punk waiting around in the shallows? Uh, yeah, he looks like a human being. Oh, there's a guy in the creek over here. Got him. One poor soul remaining. I got him. Higher ground. He got him. Wow. <clears throat> Let's go get him, Chop. Come on, Chop. Follow Chop. Get him, boy. We got a couple of them down. Was there four? Could have scored. It was like three. Come on, boy. Where are we going? Man, this water is fucking cold. Absolutely. Uh. Oh, goodness. Come on, Chop. Get his ass. I ain't got all day. There he is. He's up here. He's up here. How did he get a rocket launcher? Do you have it in his pocket? Like... Not to shoot him. My brothers! You killed all of them! Oh my god. Okay, perfect. Last guy's done, homie. Bow! Let's go. Could've just shot him, I guess, but... I think I fucking shot from the cannon. Okay, it's right over here. These are a little bit easier to land than, uh... Actual... Planes. So... You in? Airfield. You know the airfield's mine, don't you? Oh yeah, you can afford a runway, but you can't afford to move out of that corrugated metal death shack. So how you guys doing? Well, we're alive. Hey, good work down there. I'm the one who says thank you. He was helping me. Thank you, Franklin. Yeah, it's cool, home. And thank you, Chop. Hey. <clears throat> I ain't going for that one. You didn't. Oh, I went to their farm and I killed a lot of them and then I blew it up. Killed a lot of them? Yes! I think that was Elwood, Walton, and Wynn who we killed just then. I killed Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, Don, and a few other guys when I blew up the farm. So, maybe this is kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. Let's not forget that I'm the wrong party here. Yeah, you are definitely the wrong party. 
Oh, for sure. Show. <laughs> My gosh, Trevor is always in trouble, man. He really, really is. Right here, I missed it. Don't it feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Okay. Mission success. <clears throat> Predator down. Back on the purchase from websites or let you land on the helipad will be stored at that. Okay. Go ahead and go towards the truck here. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to go to the next one. Next mission, but we'll figure it out. We most of the for the Play-Doh Squirrel. All we need is that military hardware. So move on the convoy when you can. Okay. I said we go ahead and do the convoy, and then we will go ahead and do <clears throat> the highest probably next episode. If I have time to do it, I'll do it. Right now we're like 40 minutes in, and then obviously me trying to do this might push push us towards an hour. So, you know, I've been thinking out. about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. Frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on that. I'll see you soon. Hey! Hey, stop! Nope. That shit to do, man. Okay, he's probably gonna go up here, maybe? On the moves, so we gotta be very careful that we're not, um... Probably just bypass all this, uh, actually. Go straight to it. Okay, we gotta make sure that we're actually going to it and not, like, towards the marker if it's not even there. Uh... That... Let's get up out of here. This. Okay, now we have to enter the military hardware. This is this is gonna be a nightmare. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have like no health. There we go, getting a little back there. I'm gonna push down this left hand side and try to hit a car up here. Without getting shot at, that'd be sweet. Take your money, 14 bucks. That's a cheeseburger. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't call any like cops or anything, which I guess makes sense. Oh my god, we we shut the tire out. This is gonna be a nightmare getting it back, man. Where we gotta go? Just all the way around. Okay. No big deal. I'll probably just go ahead and just cut when we get there. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. All right, we're pulling up now. I thought this would be a little bit more difficult, to be honest. Where do we gotta go around there? Perfect. I thought it'd be like a whole thing, but it wasn't at all at all. All right, military hardware. Bada bang. Let's see if we can maybe 
do the heist real quick then. Go inside. Oh, I can't. Master, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. All right. I'm, I'm actually here, so perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and do it then. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Only 40 minutes in, so. I like the missions that aren't that aren't that too like aren't too long, because then you can just kind of run through them, you know. Do it. It's 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 not inappropriate. It's it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. It, first you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's she's a 60 year old housewife. Wow, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss oh. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. <clears throat> oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them. And now that they're gone, you are like fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey, why? No, you got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? Hello, right. Franklin. What's up? Here's the shot. <laughs> We're going to Palano Bay. We're gonna do this thing. Any questions? Need to get going. Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in. You grab the tape. They rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great. Let's go. Let's do the dang thing. I hope we have a heist in the next one. I love these heists, man. Even online, like the online heists were so good. Bay. Let's hit like, this shit. it's just so good. If they could just make uh, you ever hit a, a bank before, Franklin? Kind of yeah, like a payday type thing. Imagine. The same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? I love payday. Know, payday two, I like, oh. Yeah, Why is it weird? Oh my god, that's so uh, far away. Everyone remembers their first score. She, not me. Huh. Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! <laughs> Chef, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? <clears throat> Gee, man, you could just as easily. You tell them. I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was, uh, part of the interview process, I guess is how you'd call it. Trevor knew I could cook, wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town. It's the reason he had funds. Next thing, we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them, anyhow. 50K. He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember, I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job. Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The checks cash place. I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. It was Jesus. a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that children is why we don't leave witnesses. That children is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin, share 
Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Uh, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Dive pack went off, homie. Money was useless then. Dive pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, come on. Ow, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Uh, I've got my work, I've got my life. Uh, I never the two shall meet. Uh, well, he's got kids, so I get it. We gotta be family. They're older now, so anything, whatever. Die back. All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know that guy over here's living large. Look at him. Damn. I'll bring a die pack just for you. All right, so we gotta go that way. Okay, here we go. <sighs> this is about to be. I kind of get nervous at these, to be honest. And risk getting ID. You're an idiot. I gotta go. It's number two. All right, we all good. Let's hit. Let's go. Go inside the bank. Is this happening? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm just I can't I can't run any faster. You want a few of your time? Get down! Okay. Going one of two ways, Where am I going? Everyone on the floor! Now! You and you! Out from behind the counter! That's it! Hands in the air! Come on then! Do it! M! Keep an eye on our trusted employee! Okay! You got the crowd! Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out! I think the door's Stay ready. Down. Get over here and kick it in, Em. You're getting off on Give this, it a kick. little man. Go to the vault. <laughs> shoot. If I ever meet this alarm guy, I'll fucking shoot him. Uh, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Shit! My the God, the dude. 11 is confirmed. Five million. Everything we got down here. Bottom right. <laughs> All right, go to the vault. Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. Seven million. Eight million. Woo wee! Get the ride to the airport. I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. I'm killing me some bad guys. We'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. Here we go, baby. Mother. Oh my god. Dude, holy shit. God, they just they do such a good job setting this shit up. Go. Got him. That should have been it. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we gotta go... The A? Where am I going? You maggot! We're not going through this. That was 50 pounds of gear. Blast Shoot the fence. 
Kill that guy. There is no way out. Don't fence me in. I shouldn't have smoked that bull before we came. Or maybe I should. I I'm wired, man. Let's go. Plow through it. Take him down. Frank, we need another escape route. Can you find a vehicle? Something might stand up for gunfire. There's some construction around the way. All right. Stay in cover. We go right through them, gentlemen. They got a noose unit in Shitsville. They got noose involved. Hold your nerve. Time to go. Come on. Top tower incoming. Jesus. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just fully focused right now. Okay. We're taking them as, as they come out, so it's just really good. Uh, let me see here. Let me let me go back to Trevor here. You know how heavy that would be? Or I better freaking switch back to Micah before they yell at me anymore. It's alright. Well, I mean, we are in... We have mini guns and military equipment, so yeah, they're gonna call on someone a little, a little better. Would you just lock on? Michael died. Uh, what? Go to Michael and Trevor. Oh my god, this is gonna- this is- this takes forever. We're losing money as we speak. Ow, why are you shooting me? I didn't do anything! Oh my god, this is the slowest vehicle I've ever seen in my existence. Turn around immediately. My gosh. I'm going as fast as I can, dude. We're losing money as well. Come on! Oh my gosh. Come here, let's go. Everybody get I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Go, 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 go! Missed. Go left! There's another tank coming from the right. Hey, quite a disturbance, you calls me. Ah shit. Well, you know me and Trevor. Wherever we go, drama follows. Oh my god. We got a tank right there. We have three tanks on us. Holy crap, dude. And there's whatever one of the military guys. Ah! Where'd the other guy go? Where'd Chef go? Let's go. Kid, I got 
the armor. Dick. I'll look out for myself, man. Go. Hey, Frank, you good? I'll be cool when we're out of there. We ducked into a chicken factory to get away from the tanks. Chicken factory? Oh, I see it. I'll try and head off anyone looks like they're going in. Kid, Let's go. You still alive? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just keep going. We still got like a cool million dollars or eight million dollars. So. There's even more of these bastards. Damn. If I'd known you'd be. Gonna keep going. Fuck me. Who else would be fucking this up? Fuck, 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 on. I'm glad you got hired for the job. There's some guys trying to get in here. Chef's holding them up. Might give us the window we need to jump a train. Come on, the platform. Give us a minute. Come on, guys. Pick this off. We ain't got lost. Bite me. Let's hop the train. Come on. This is it. Let's go. This is it. Let's go. I'm on the other side. It's our only shot. It's here. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know. This isn't going to work for me because I'm on the other side. Can I do, can I do this, maybe? Here we go. I, I was on the other. It hit me, so I went to the other side, so it kind of messed me up. It worked out. My gosh. I'm sorry I didn't talk at all that much. I mean, I didn't talk really at all there. I just kind of was focus mode. A lot of shit happening. Let's go. Uh, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, <laughs> you'll be shot, amigo. <laughs> very amazing. so effed up. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay. And here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. We took eight million dollars and we got what? You once Operation Twenty grand. Ago. Fifty grand, grand hundred grand, okay? something like that. Fucking punk. All right. Probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. Uh, wow. Oh, come on. Up. Serious. All right. Ice done. Little score. Let's go. Four hundred forty-four thousand seven hundred twenty-four dollars. So how much we just got? So now we're looking at about a, a cool million dollars in our bank account, by a piece. If we pull our money together. We have about three or four grand, uh, three, or, three to four million dollars. Um, but we're gonna end this right here. Hey, Dad, how are you? It's like so majorly weird to writing to you like this. It's like the '90s or something. Email. Wow. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be in this right here. This is gonna be episode number thirteen of the GTA Five campaign walkthrough. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. Always, guys, I'm Johnny, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. I didn't do a lot of talking this episode. I just kind of was focused on everything, so that's my apologies. I'll be doing a little bit more commentary in the next episode. At least I'm hoping, depending on how things go, because uh, I like I, I just like listening to them talk, and uh, sometimes I'm in like the the heat of things, you know. Anyway, see you guys soon. Bye.